Welcome to Greenville Pickens Speedway. It's second stop here at this racetrack for this group of drivers. I'm Rick out alongside of Phil Parsons. A gorgeous day, different from when this one was scheduled to run. It was scheduled to run last Monday night. It's going to be a Saturday afternoon race. 83 degrees is the temperature. Here are your points after nine races. Max Gresham right now with a pretty comfortable lead with only three races to go over Brett Moffat. He would probably have to have a little bit of trouble for those guys to catch him. Brett Moffat driving that double zero that won two championships back to back in this series. Let's look at your storylines, Phil. Rick, you want to be able to keep the fenders on these cars. You have to have your brake ducts, everything working at the end of the race. You want to be on the inside for the restarts. Five degree banking here, there's not a whole lot on the outside, and you have to save the tires. Very, very abrasive surface. You have to have something to race with at the end. Sergio Pena smiling early on. Let's take a look at today's Bioblast. Hi, I'm Sergio Pena, driver of the number four Revolution Racing Toyota. Um, I got my start in go-karting when I was eight years old. From there, I went to Formula Cars. I ran a series out in the West called the Formula TR Pro Series and uh, ended up winning Rookie of the Year in 11 out of the 20 races. After that, I moved to late models um, just to, uh, so I could build a resume for the Drive for Diversity program. I got my first win at South Boston Speedway, and that was really great. And it was an amazing feeling. And this year, I'm just hoping to get as many wins as possible and you know, hopefully contend for the championship. I'm Sergio Pena, and that's your K&N Bioblast. Three races ago, Sergio Pena went back to victory lane at Langley, so he's looking to stay on that role that he has now. Now let's check in with the third member of our broadcast team, Derek Pernasiglo. He's with a very happy pole sitter. Guys, Corey LaJoy actually tied his famous father, Randy, for poles in this series with one. He picks up his first career pole today. And, Corey, how much different is it going to be racing on this track this afternoon compared to in April when we were racing on it at night? This thing's going to be pretty slick, I think. It was pretty slick in qualifying. It's been pretty slick all day. So um, I'm looking forward to it. We've got a good car here. Uh, Pat Rogers Foundation Pro Systems. Uh, do I have Seaton? Ford's running pretty good today. So we'll see if we can try to get us one here. Corey LaJoy will start out front. 28 drivers are strapped into their race cars, getting ready for 140 laps. That's 10 less than they ran in the first race of the season here at Greenville Pickens. Green flag about to fly. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Greenville, South Carolina. The NASCAR Canaan Pro Series East about to take on Greenville Pickens Speedway one more time. Take a look at the particulars of this racetrack. As you can see, Rick, five degree banking in the corners. Really, really flat racetrack. They shortened this race 10 laps because some of the other half mile races, we've seen people run out of gas. They didn't want that to happen here. No pit stops. Taking a look at our starting grid, Corey LaJoy again, as Derek mentioned, grabbing his first career pole in the KN Pro Series East. Yes, Sergio Pena will go for win number three from the outside of the front row. Ryan Gifford back there in row seven. Chad Boat back in row number 12 has run a couple West Series races in this little off time we've had here. It's been about seven weeks since our last race here in the K&N East Series. Tom Hessert the third driving the 37 normally piloted by DJ Shaw. So we'll see how he does here in the NASCAR K&N Pro Series East. Pace car makes his way off the racetrack. Green flag flies were underway. Corey LaJoy with a good start on the inside. Sergio Pena on the outside is going to look for an opening to get down to the bottom of the racetrack. I believe he has it right in front of the nine of Chase Elliott. Sergio is going to be able to get back down to the bottom. Chase Elliott running in that third spot. So Corey LaJoy comes out of turn number four and leads the first lap at Greenville picking Speedway. See Brett Moffat looks to the inside of the 18 of Gresham. No room there right now. Such a flat racetrack and you really can't cheat here. You can't go inside too far because of the wall that's on the inside of this one. And yeah, not in a whole lot of room on this racetrack. As you mentioned, you have the wall backed up by the earth. <laughs> not, a, not a lot of forgiveness there either. Doesn't look like Corey LaJoy has much forgiveness for the field right now as he's already pulled out to a two-car length lead over Sergio Pena running second and pulling away. Yeah, Corey had a second place finish this year at Bowman Gray as his best of the year. Also had a second last year at Dover. Looking for win number one here in the series. Corey LaJoy finished 20th in this race to start out the season. The Greenville Pickett Speedway wants to improve on that today. Starting to bunch up behind the nine of Chase Elliott, Max Gresham back there in the 18. Derek, what's going on with Max Gresham? Max Gresham is hoping for a lot better run today than he's had here in the past. His last two finishes here were 21st and 23rd. Right now, he's got two wins to his credit this year. He's leading the points, and he's also got seven top fives and eight top tens. In this couple of weeks off that we've had, he's been testing the waters racing in the ARCA race. 
Racing Series, where he finished sixth at Pocono and 13th at Lucas Oil Raceway. Yeah, Derek, and he looked impressive. We called both of those races, Phil, and it, it was an impressive performance by him at both racetracks. Yeah, it certainly was. Pocono really had a shot to win that race, and unfortunately, some an untimely caution flag took him out of that possible win, but a good, good little short track racer here. And, you know, we have three races left counting this one. He's leading the points. One of those races is Loudon, right. and he already won there this year in dominating fashion, so he has to be feeling pretty good right now. We talk about dominating fashion. Corey LaJoy really hitting his marks around this racetrack. Has already put five car links between himself and Sergio Pena. Normally, when you see that big of a gap, you would think that the guy running in second or Sergio Pena right now might be holding up the field, but he's holding his own. Chase Elliott can't get to his back bumper yet. Yeah, it's just Corey really putting a hurting on him right now. But remember, you have to save your equipment. You have to save your tires. A very, very abrasive surface here, so you really want to have something left at the end of the race. There's a battle for second and third, and now the battle for third between the nine of Chase Elliott. Gresham looking to the outside. Trouble on the racetrack, a car against the outside wall. First caution will come out here on lap number eight. We saw the field making their way by that 51 of Brandon Haley. I think Chase saw that. He backed off. That's why Max was able to pull on this outside. Corey LaJoy out in front. We'll be right back for the green flag. 